Hi, Jason, Straight Line Performance. We've got some exciting news we want to talk to everyone about. We are now doing a online uh, social media YouTube videos about our cool builds here happening at Straight Line Performance. Our first build is really awesome. So uh, it's a neat project. Uh, gentleman's name is Connor Barkey. We're going to build a G5 Triple Pro Stock 1000 Snowdragger. So what's really neat is you seen us bring it in. Here it is. All these projects are basically starting from scratch right through the entire build. It is going to be something you want to watch and you want to see how we do this, how we build, uh, and definitely look at getting your project in line. So let's get into this project right now and start showing you each step all the way over probably the next six months, what it's going to take to build one of these sleds from the ground up, going right to the dyno in the field. So let's get into it. So we've been getting in this project uh, the last couple of weeks. We've been doing a, an overview discussion with the entire team, laying out our process. Pretty much the most important thing we have right from the beginning when you're doing any build is we need to get the engine completely aligned and true. Every single thing that we build after that in this chassis is truly going to be followed by really the center of that crank. The offsets, the up and down, the pipe fitment, the carburetors, the wire harnesses, everything's going to be done by what we do with that engine. So we've got a fair amount of time now into some plate designs here. So in the back of the sled, you're gonna actually see one of the plates we've installed here. That's kind of a, a rear support, which is really nice about this one, is it's tying in both sides of this chassis here together and tying the back of the tunnel. So bolts from the back, and then our new plate we've got right here is gonna bolt from the front. So Kind of a, let's call it a little more prototype as you're gonna see when we do a build how things actually look. It's not, you know, polished perfect. So we, we need to start with a good project. Got some holes in here. We did some mock cooling, um, some bolts, some mounts. So things will change as we go along, but we wanna show you what we got. So this actually will go in, into this chassis is where we're at today. Goes through here. We've made a couple mounting points. So we got one here, here, and here as a main support up front. And then we've got a bunch in the back, and then we've got our engine mounts in here. So we've been working with this, getting this engine in here and trued and aligned because we got to get, like I said, that center of that crankshaft, and then we've got to work on your jack shaft. Once those two are done, which is a lot of the work involved, the rest of it is going to be built around this entire deal. So what we want to do now is let's get an engine in here and show you some mock-ups, get it mounted, and start putting this project together over the next couple months. So we just got the engine in, and we're gonna talk a little bit about all this bracing and the adjustments that needed to be done to build this sled. So right out of the step, all your G4, G5 chassis like we have, have a ginormous brace that comes across here. You know, one of the big things we have is we got an engine in the way. So when we went to mount this, first thing is, is we had to take the brace that truly mounts all the way up and across here and cut it apart. So our new mount mounts right through here. The missing part, which is the main structure of this sled. So when you got these pyramidal frames, we've got supports coming down and then cross supports going through here. Yeah, you know, we have now cut the cross support, which is the most important part of this chassis actually from folding up in the bottom. We also have the engine and the jack shaft here, which are gonna come together from the load of the engine. So the engine itself is gonna pull and it's gonna come down. So we don't have a lot of support. The last step we really need to do is we need to build a new structure here to support this chassis from these removal parts. So we'll get that new structure that we built in here. We'll show you how it resupports and uh, look at the next steps that we need to after that. All right, we're getting the structure that we built put in here for you, show what we did. So this is the main structure that comes across. So what we've got is your shock supports by far your most strength portion. So we went from the shock support over to this QRS tower back down into the chassis. We've got a mount that comes up from the bottom of the chassis to support this whole thing. We've also added another rod going down to the main frame where this QRS support was in. So this will go through here. We'll get our QS mounted in here. So this side sets up. The main concern we had is when we were building this is this tower support still had some movement, even though 
We're gonna put a QRS in here, which does help some of this tower movement. On the other side here, we built the other completion part to finish this engine project install. Goes through, sets the distances here precisely, and then comes back down and mounts back to the shock tower support. So we've got a really nice frame built all the way through this entire engine. This will support this entire deal with our QRS being floated. So it's a great addition. You know, our next steps are pretty uh, critical right now. So, but we've got to look at getting this done, trued and ready to go. So basically you're looking at, hey, this is where we're at on step one. Uh, next couple of weeks, let's get the next components. We'll show you where we're at and stay tuned.